Hello everyone, my name's Emily and welcome back to the University of Lincoln Student Life YouTube channel. And today in preparation for the new term starting, I'm going to be showing you how to find your timetable and how to work out all the things that are on there. So I'm going to show you live how to navigate everything so I'll put up on the screen my laptop screen with blackboard and everything so I can show you as I'm saying it. So obviously here we have blackboard which is the University of Lincoln navigating system, it's the system that you'll find all your courses, all your course materials, everything pretty much that you'll need will be on here somewhere. And if you scroll down you'll see this little tab here that says timetable. You're going to want to click on that and then you get some information that comes up. This is mainly about COVID uh, because even though we've passed the worst of COVID, it's still around so it's still really important information to read up about. And then underneath it says please sign in here, so you're just going to click that and then click on view student timetable. So then when it comes up, you're going to still have that COVID information at the top and you're going to want to check that your name and your student ID number is correct. You're going to want to check that your course is correct and the level that you are. So level one is first year, level two is second year and level three is third year. And then anything more than that obviously goes up numerically. So this is my timetable for my first week last year. So on the timetable system, everything is color coordinated. So your online classes will be in purple, lectures will be in blue, dark green will be seminars, and workshops will be in light green. And you'll be able to scroll across, scroll down, and you can click on the code at the top is the code for the module that you are doing. So that's really useful because you can relate back to module guides and things like that elsewhere on Blackboard. So each week follows pretty much the same format colour wise, but unlike sixth form or college, you may not have a repeated two weeks. So you need to check your timetable constantly because things won't follow a particular format. You will have some weeks where you know you always have a lecture on a Wednesday afternoon for example but that's not set in stone so a lot of my weeks uh, were completely different to the ones before and they didn't repeat so it's always key to keep checking your timetable. You can also export your timetable onto your own personal calendar on your phone or laptop so you're just going to go to calendar info and then underneath here, it says your unique calendar subscription feed URL. You want to copy that and then paste it into your calendar that you use on your laptop or your phone. And then it will sync into your personal calendar. So I found that really useful because I could see if I had any clashes, if I wanted to go out or wanted to book shifts at work. I could just put it all in one calendar and I could see if anything would clash. Another really useful thing about the Navigate Me timetable system at the University of Lincoln is everything underneath is really, really useful and it's all in one place. So, for example, if you are unwell, you can see here, you can submit your absences. So, as you can see here, if you're unwell, you can submit your absences. You simply press Request Absence. You write in your information, so your student number, what course you're studying, what the issue is, and then you'll get an email back to say if it's approved or declined. Navigate Me is really useful as well, especially in the first weeks when you are starting at university. You can type in any room number, search for any building, whether it's accommodation, whether it's a lecture hall, um, anything on campus and it will show you directly how to get there and also the best route. There's also some key information about exams. So if you are studying a course where you know you'll be taking exams, this is really interesting and really useful to read through. And I'd highly encourage you to familiarize yourself with the university exam conducts. And also if you have an issue with your timetable, there is a query section just at the bottom that you can submit a query and someone will get back to you and try and help you resolve it. So 
So that was a really brief rundown of how to use your timetable when you start at university. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below and someone will try and get back to you. I really hope that you enjoy starting at the University of Lincoln. I obviously love it. It's such a lovely place to be and such a wonderful university to be at. Take care and I hope you enjoyed.